Everywhere I go, I go barefoot. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about barefoot shoes. No, I don't walk barefoot everywhere, but I do walk barefoot and that's grounding and that's a whole different topic. But today we're talking about barefoot shoes. Wait, what are barefoot shoes? So barefoot shoes are actually a type of shoe, not a shoe brand. However, I wear a specific brand of barefoot shoe, Zero Shoe. Zero Shoes, just to be clear, has not paid me for any endorsement or anything. Call me, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me, call me. Every one of these shoes that I'm about to show you, I have purchased myself. Nothing's been donated to me other than maybe, uh, I think one of these pairs was given to me for a birthday. So I don't know if you want to count that. But this is my everyday shoe. This is the Prio uh, by Zero Shoes. This is made to be kind of a running shoe, barefoot runner, but like I said, I use it as just my everyday shoe. So what makes it a barefoot shoe? A, this shoe weighs nothing at all. B, like super, super flexible. I could take my shoe. Can you take your Nike and do this with it? No, didn't think so. Uh, it has zero lift, which is what zero shoes are, meaning there's no heel. When your foot is inside of it, and you're standing flat on the ground, your foot is flat. There's no arch support. There's no heel lift on it. All that stuff messes with your gait. The way you walk, how your foot interacts with the ground, all those things wearing normal like Nike style tennis shoes are actually damaging your foot. If you're constantly supporting the arch of your foot, all you're doing is weakening your foot, to make it weaker and weaker and more dependent on those arch supports to stop pain, for example. So years ago, I was having a lot of back pain. I actually have a bad, I've got a bad back, I'm missing a disc, or there's a bunch of herniated discs back there. I'm gonna need a fusion, but long story short, regular work boots that I would wear every day to work were killing my back, they were hurting me. Every time I'd wear them, I would, I'd come home and just be in just pain. And I started off buying a pair of shoes like this. Actually, this exact set, not this exact shoe, but this style. So I bought it off Zero Shoes and I, it does take maybe a few weeks if you wear them constantly, a few weeks up to maybe a month of getting used to barefoot shoes. You have to retrain your foot to handle things. This sole on this shoe is super, super thin. It's not even as thick as this looks. This just kind of curves over it. You're talking, I don't know, maybe a few millimeters thick. So you feel every pebble, every stick, every rock that you walk over. You feel the ground underneath your feet. And at first, it's a shock to you. At first, you're like, oh, man, I can't, can't walk like this. This is painful, right? But your feet start to acclimate to that. They get used to that. And they tell your body how to move, how to interact. So as you're walking and you're stepping on those rocks or those sticks or anything, your body is making micro adjustments to, to walk across that, right? And to feel comfortable. That is what your feet should be doing. By wearing thick soled, soft, cushiony insoles and things, you're blocking those signals going to your brain and your brain's not used to that. So barefoot shoes is really, really healthy for you. It's great for you. Another super important thing is you'll see the toe box in these shoes compared to like Nikes and things is super wide. That allows your toes to actually splay and spread and give you better balance as you're standing and walking and going over, you know, different difficult terrain. It allows me to have great balance while I'm out on the hiking trail or just walking down the street, whatever. So as I said, this is the Prio. This is my daily wearer, right? This, is my original set of Prios. I bought this, uh, these shoes, I would say probably about five, six years ago when I first got into this. And you could tell they've, they've had a lot of wear, right? I've beaten the heck out of these things. And honestly, up to maybe about a month ago, I was still wearing them, uh, not in public, but I would wear them to go cut the grass and stuff like that. I'd mow the lawn in them, but 
I've officially kind of retired these things, but I wanted to keep them around uh, just to, to kind of show you what they looked like before I throw them away. But again, zero shoes, these things I wore for five years and I mean, they've taken some abuse, but they're still wearable. I still wore these things. I, you know, they hold together really, really well. Uh, you know, for a daily walker, daily thing that I use this for, I use these shoes for mowing the lawn, walking through mud, rocks, gravel, whatever, just daily wearing, and they're still holding together great. So I don't want to like push you one way or another towards barefoot, which company of barefoot shoes if you're looking to get into them, but Zero Shoes has been really good to me, you know, as far as my health and my feet and my back. So if you're looking for a company, maybe think about it. Another thing inside, I was talking about the soles and the thickness. Inside these shoes, they do offer kind of an insole that gives you a little bit more cushion if you're first starting out and maybe that um, walking on that, those rocks and things are a little too hard for you. So they do give you this insole that cushions it just a little bit. It's not a lot. It's very, very thin. Uh, it's, I'll show you how thin that is, right? If you don't want it, you could still wear this shoe. There's actual liner and everything down there. You can wear the shoe without it and get an actual real feel of the ground as you're walking, which is normally how I wear it. I threw these in today just to kind of show you that point. So they just slide right in and you've got kind of your cushioned insole. So I wore those Prios for a while and then summer came, summer hit and I needed some sandals. I looked on Zero Shoes site and here's a set of sandals that I wound up getting or flip flops. I don't like the like cheapo flip flops. I don't like the cheapo flip flops that have like the thing that goes between your toes that drives me nuts. So I wanted something with more of a strap. So the strap really locks in, holds you well. It's, you see how thin that sole is and on the back or at the bottom, I've worn the hell out of the soles over the years, but they used to have like a lot of good tread on the bottom. So walking through sand or anywhere, even I would hike with these from time to time, they give you good grip. So it's not like walking in flip flops. You actually have a tread, you know, to walk with. Uh, and then I started getting into hiking, you know, more hiking stuff. I wanted a, a shoe for hiking. These are great. But if you notice the soles on the bottom, they're pretty smooth. These are made for more asphalt road type sidewalks. So you, you know, they get good grip. But on the trail, if you're going down a hill or something, didn't offer much grip. So I looked into these. I can't remember what these were called. They're kind of similar to the Prio, but I think these were called the Excursions or something, which is essentially the same style shoe as the Prio was same, all same aspect, same real thin sole, uh, same, you know, liner option if you want that. But this one was more of like a breathable mesh type material. Uh, and it had kind of a better, thicker uh, toe so that you wouldn't stub your toe on rocks and sticks and things. Uh, but the main thing was the soles on the bottom. These soles are super, super luggy and I used to joke when I would go hiking that these things felt like Velcro on the ground. You'd be going down a hill, other people would be slipping and stuff, the kids would be slipping and stuff, and I would be standing there just totally fine, walking, just casually walking down the hill because these soles would just dig into the ground and give you great grip. Same thing as the other ones, super lightweight, super flexible. It felt really good in them. The one downfall that I didn't like about these when hiking was it didn't have a ton of ankle support. I was used to hiking boots. So the next thing I bought was this. Pretty much the same shoe as this, but they came up with, I think this is the excursion. They came out with this, which is more of a boot style, gives you a little more ankle support and things like that. And it was built with, uh, it's built to be waterproof. So you see there on the side, it's got waterproof. So I have worn these shoes now hiking for four years. They are still in excellent shape. I wear these things all the time. I have been in standing water probably 
three, four inches deep in these boots and my feet stay dry. I don't have to worry about walking around puddles and trying to find, navigate through when the trails are wet. These things I can walk through and at the end of the day, rinse them off and they're great, good to go immediately after. So these have been really, really good hiking boots. I wear these all the time now, everywhere we go. They're great. The one downfall is in the summertime when it's really, really hot and you're wearing these, they are waterproof. So your feet don't tend to breathe a lot. They do, you, they do get sweaty and eventually they get smelly. Throw a little foot powder stuff in there and it, it gets back to smelling decent. But I've had these things pretty ripe at times where I get in the truck, I'll throw them in the back of the truck and open the tailgate later and I'm like, oof, they do get a little funky. But it's, it's a good trade off for waterproofness. The last pair of Zero Shoes that I've purchased, I bought these two years ago for winter time. So these work really well, but because they're so thin and everything, your feet get cold. I used to just throw wool socks on with them, but in Michigan, it gets pretty cold in the winter. So my feet were still getting pretty cold while I was out shoveling snow and things with them. So they came out with this set. I don't, want, I don't remember what these are called. Uh, Alpines, I think. So these were called the Alpine. These are insulated. So they have a like insulated piece of almost like not metal, but like a metallic type material in between the sole and your foot. And it would like radiate your, your foot's heat back towards you and keep it locked inside. And then it was also had like kind of like a furry insulation all the way around it. Again, completely waterproof and had these super luggy soles on it. So these worked out really well and kept my feet super warm in the winter time. I, when I have anything cold, uh, anything outdoors where it's freezing or cold or snowy or anything, these are on. So here you have kind of my collection of zero shoes over the years. Like I said, they haven't paid me or endorsed me to any for anything, but if you're looking for a barefoot style shoe, I do strongly suggest them. They are a great company. Everything's vegan friendly. There's no like real animal leather if that's important to you or not. Everything's super lightweight. It's made for your health, to get you healthy and stuff. It is definitely an adjustment. I'll tell you that ahead of time. So go into this. If you're new to barefoot shoes, go into it kind of expecting to ease into it. Maybe wear them for an hour or two, you know, and start building that time up as you go and eventually you'll get there. So, do you wear barefoot shoes? Have you worn barefoot shoes? Would you like to wear barefoot shoes? Comment down below and let me know. I am very interested to hear your story about barefoot shoes. And I'm not kidding. When I say it makes you healthier, it really does. I can feel the difference. If I switch over to like my cowboy boots or something while I'm out riding and I walk around for the day, by the end of the day, my back is killing me. I'm telling you, it's an adjustment, yes, but do it. Get used to it and you will thank yourself for it. You'll thank me for it by giving me a subscription down below or maybe a thumbs up. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this type of content, subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, comment, all that fun stuff. Let me know about your zero shoe or your barefoot shoe experience and I'll see you on the next one.